أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله as I have told you in the previous um, tutorial video that we will continue um, with one more video which is not tutorial actually which is a help video to uh, show you how you're going to implement this one in advanced design system ADS so we pick up from this this one which is um, already have designed in the previous tutorial video and I hope that you go through this uh, practice uh, examples and problems to, to master yourself how to end up with the layout like this so we will design this layout in ADS and uh, then we will uh, simulate and see what is our uh, the frequency response is so we go to the ADS actually I have already designed this for you however uh, you can check back from here hmm. so here <coughs> uh, you need to first um, find the m lock which is m lock which is a open uh, open circuit stub which is hmm, L loc hmm, acoustic line of open circuit and then you need to find some m lean microstep lines for um i don't know I, what is this uh if this is open circuit then it should be series but i don't know what is i n means actually forgot later on maybe i can uh i can tell you but however this is for the series stubs hmm, and this is for the open circuit stub so this is short circuit stub and this is open circuit stub and you need to find some mt to connect them together and mlin this is 50 ohm mlin later on you will see so you need to find one two three four five six so one two three four five six of mlin one two three four five of m lock and mt one two three four five and then you put it here like this and you form term one and term two or term two and term one better you use this one here so okay so this is term one mean this is this is considered as a port one and this is considered as port two and then before that you need to come to the um, you need to add one parameter where you will add here this one so you go until five gigahertz and the step size is one megahertz so you will have a good resolution and then this is your uh, substrate because if we implement this one in the oh, one one PCB, we need to use our substrate uh, specifications. So the substrate specification is the height of the substrate is 0.8 mm. The dielectric constant is 2.25. So you use this MUR value, the conductance value. Uh, this value, you, you just copy this one. The thickness of the copper is 35 micrometer. The tangent value is 0 0.002, and so on and so forth. So you use these values as your uh, subject is, is specification. However, I will I will in in your um, project uh, title what I will actually allocate different frequency and different um, ripple and different uh, responses for different groups. Then I will give this spec also there. So first of all uh, since uh, this design our design this one is like a kind of symmetrical design that were this and this the same this and this the same so if we calculate these three so we can replace with this one and this one and also this this which is one this is 100 one stub 111.8 and here one more stub 111.8 so this is this this and this and these are similar 
So uh, if we find this one, we can replace with this. We can just copy and paste this one, and so on and so forth. So we use this value. Let's say I'm gonna use this. Let's uh, at the end we will use. Uh, how, I will tell you how to calculate this one. But first we use the open circle stub specifications to calculate. So we go to our ADS schematic. And then we go to tools, and then we go to line calc, and we start line calc. To find the values for our transmission line width and length. So we click here, so we find out this one. So here you need to input, it will not be like this for you because I saved uh, before that. So you need to input 2.25, here one, don't change anything here, you need to put these values, point micrometer, mm, so it should be mm. So the tangent is 2.22. If we put 2.22, it, it actually changes to 2.2. So it's, 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 it's okay, it, it's not a big deal actually. And then you put your frequency, whatever frequency you will have for you, okay, here. So for, for us, we, we're gonna design for two gigahertz. So our two gigahertz is here, and let's go to our theoretical calculated layout, which have 180.9. So we're gonna go to the line calc, and here, our Z naught is 180.9, we put here. Remember this one, for each and every stub, you need to calculate, change these values, and then you need to, Synthesize and you find your W and L. Then you're gonna copy paste this W and L inside those M lock and M lean values. Then you will uh, then uh, after that you will simulate. So now we have this, and now what will be this one? I told you E effect is the electrical length of the transmission line. As I told you that what is the electrical length? So L was lambda by 8, which is 360 by 8, which is 45 degree. So each of these transmission lines have a length of 45 degree, not this one. Okay, remember this is different. This 250 only different. So we go to here, we put 45 as it is 45 degree. Remember this one, then we synthesize. So at the synthesize, after the synthesize, we get this values of W. So we find out, we go to our schematic here, schematic, and then we come here. And then we open this one. And then we copy this one and we paste it here. Remember, you always change this one too millimeter because these all are in millimeters so you, you find it again here you just copy this one and then you put it here and then you change it to millimeter and then you apply so this one done similarly you have to do it here this one this one is uh, in here you check it's 42 right so when you put here 42 point Sorry, it's not only 42, it's 42.7. So you put 42.7 here, 42.7 here, and then you synthesize again. So once you synthesize, then you will find out, you go to schematic here, and then you come here, see, I already put those values actually, already have copied and pasted this one. So like this, you will find these values. So you just copy here, take this value and paste it here and copy here for L and paste it here. In similar way, in similar way, here, this one, which is representing this value. So you come to a schematic and then Lock 69 point, which is 69 point, mm, 
0.089 and then you synthesize. Sorry, 69, not 60. Mm -hmm. And remember all those values, these are electrical length of 45. So we have this copied and pasted paste already. So is, this, is it first? No, not yet. So let me copy and paste this one. So see, go here. V and then find the here control C and then you just put control V here and then you apply. So again, uh, this one is done. So see the same values here. We go now for this is step. This is one step with 111.8, and one more is also the same. So they are the same. So we calculate this one, we find the similar. So we go, we put 111 again here. Put 111.8, and then we synthesize. So once we synthesize this one, we get these values, which we copy and go to the schematic. Find your L1 here. So let's see, this one is one and two. This is this is the our unlock. Let's check that we I have already copied this one here or not. Four, four, two. So it seems that I already have copied this one. So just copy and paste this one. And now, so we, we have done this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now we come here. So we, this is only 25, right? We put 25 here, and then we see what is the response. So here is the response. We go to um, schematic again. So this one is our schematic. So let's us find what is uh, here the value. Our values are the values are the seven six one three. So I have already copied here. I've already copied this one here. So this one done in a similar way. In a similar way, this one is similar to this. And this one is similar to this. However, it will not be always similar. So better you calculate each each and every one. If you don't have a uh, sorry, if you don't have a uh, if you don't have a um, um, same like this, so you need to uh, you know calculate individual and then put it there. So uh, here, um, I saw there is one change I need to make is um, this one. So the first one, I copy this one. Here. See, in the same way, you just copy and paste this one, it will become the same. So our stubs are done. Now, one thing is what will be the values of this one. Now, this one is W1 for the, this one. So this value is similar to this one. This value is similar to this one. And this value, W, is similar to this. So what I have copied and pasted here already. And so here, I think we need to make a change a little bit. So this one, sorry, this one I copy here and then I put here. Make it similar. This is similar. So this one is similar to this. This one is similar to this, and this is similar to this. Same way you have to do for all. So this similar to this, this similar to this, and this similar to this. Now we need to check whether this is 
similar to this. This is similar to this, and this is similar to this one. And then we check here. This seems this is not similar. So this is copy, and this is the put it here. Put it here. And this similar becomes similar. And this is similar. So all the things are set now. We have to deal with the final 50 ohm line, which is Emlin transmission line one. So our 50 ohm line, we one thing we know that this is this will be 50 ohm, right? But the transmission line, you can try how, how what is the response here. Possibly it will not change, but usually when we implement this one, it should be more or uh, similar to quarter wave. So if we put quarter wave, quarter wave means lambda by. 4, which is 90 degree. So we synthesize here, we get this value. In the schematic, when we check these values, if it's similar, I have already copied, I already have copy and copied and pasted here. So all this is the same. So this value we're gonna take and copy and paste here. And this will give you those values and you copy this one and Test it here. So these values need to be changed accordingly. And this, remember this one. Hmm. So we can put it four gigahertz, but I put five because our 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 um, I think the, the question was somehow that we put four gigahertz zero to F. Hmm. We need to find the plot and response. So. So the whole circuit has been uh, input in the ADS here, uh, sorry, uh, here in the schematic. Later on, we will convert it to the layout. But first, we need to uh, design. Uh, a design has been done. So first, we need to simulate them. So this is our simulator. With this setting, it will simulate these parameters. So we click on the simulation. So where we can find out that this is our two gigahertz. Let's go to three dB. Uh, we cannot go, but let's, let's see this one. So it is it is so our design was for two point zero zero gigahertz, but we got two point zero three seven gigahertz, which is acceptable also. But and at also uh, it's supposed to be fifteen. At three gigahertz, supposed to be 15 dB, right? But it's more than that, means the filter has been designed pretty well. However, if you really want to be precise on the two gigahertz at three dB, then you need to tune it more. So you know how to tune it. I told you already that I will not tune for you actually. So you should not tune this elements at all okay not at all these elements you should not tune you have to tune only the length length not this one this two also you should not this transmission line you should not you should only can tune the length not the width of this transmission line this stops the length so you go on the tuner and then you tune here and then you can bring it to exactly Two gigahertz at minus three dB, but it's up to you. Or oh, and also here, this is actually uh, the plot is S two one. So uh, for your convenience, I plot it again. So S two one, and then you plot this value. So this is your uh, at um, at three dB. You need to find out. Sorry. 3D, let me find out what's your so this was like that, and um, at 3 gigahertz, you have a uh, so. So 
Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so at 3 gigahertz, you have an insertion loss of Thirty-two, which is much much better than fifteen. So the design is done. So uh, and you can change later on the plot options. You go to plot options, then you change it to until four gig because it's it stays so. You can check here. So until four gig, the response is here, which is which is quite quite good. Now the second step uh, is. Um, Oh, sorry, uh, one more thing. You can plot also the S11, the reflection. This is the transmission coefficient, right? You can plot the S11, which is supposed to be exactly opposite of them. And they will collide here at, see, at 3 dB points. So this is, uh, this is a bad thing, which is uh, very low. And then as, as long as the filter is actually decaying, so the reflection is going high, it means the filter is actually working quite well. So here, the full transmission, and here, the too much reflection and no transmission. So this is uh, for, for the schematic so far. Now, we're going to copy this whole thing. Control A and copy this one, and we bring it to the another schematic i opened it for you already which is layout and we go to here and then we're gonna i have already passed this one but however uh, for your convenience i will paste again so we have this one sorry um, which i did it all better and then you will low. So you will have something like this, then we will, you will paste here. So once you paste here, so you need to delete this part. No need anymore because we're going to generate the layout now. And then we have to delete this part also. This part also needs to be deleted. And then here, see this port we have. So this is a port one. We declare and we're going to declare port two. So from these two, we're going to go to the layout and then generate update layout. So we click here. So you see that all the transmission line they have to have taken. It will generate the layout. So click this two and then we say apply. Sorry, this is uh, actually you will not find this really because I, uh, I, I, sorry, I am too much. So this is your final layout. So what you find is here. See here. So this stub actually represents your um, represents your one eighty. This is forty two point. 7, this is 25, 42.7, and this is uh, 180.9. This is 50 ohm. home. This is 50, uh, sorry, this is 50 ohm. home. This is 50 ohm. home. This is 69.089. This is 101, 11, sorry, 111. This is 111. So this is what, um, so far, uh, you have it. Um, so this is uh, you need to include in your um, in your report also. So so far uh, after this one actually we do a lot uh, many things, but for you uh, this is so far. Later on when you work in the industry maybe you will learn more how to optimize from here that how you can change this ones you know. And can bring it into more more uh, better response, and how you can you know do a momentum co simulations here, but uh, the course is not uh, up to that mark, so we will we will uh, um, stop here. So you need to add this one in your report until that one uh, your job will be done.
so alhamdulillah uh, we have already established uh, how to implement the this layout here the similar layout we find out here uh, so this is what your project should should be um, so far uh, this this much um, inshallah see you in the next uh, videos Assalamu alaikum wa